Elon Musk has some of the craziest ideas, and with the funds in mind to bring his crazy ideas to reality, you can expect his companies to bring the crazy plans he has to reality. In 2021, he proposed the concept of an electric plane. While this doesn't sound like one of his crazy ideas, developing an electric plane is complex, and in this video we will show you why. Stay tuned and watch as we give shape to Elon Musk's electric plane. Tesla's CEO wants to change the aviation industry by proposing an electric plane concept. Musk reiterated his support for the development of an e-jet, hinting at the CEO's long-held ambition to produce a zero-emissions flying machine. Tesla's Battery Day event last year gave some clarity on a way forward for the project. One of the biggest hurdles outlined by Musk in 2021 was creating a battery with enough energy density to enable a plane to take off. With the Tesla Model 3, the battery is somewhere around 250 watt-hours per kilogram. Musk suggested an electric vertical takeoff and landing vehicle would require 400 watt-hours per kilogram. The ideal figure would be somewhere around 500 watt-hours per kilogram. The biggest signal that an e-jet is on Musk's mind came during the Q&A session at the event. The jet, however, is probably not going to arrive for a very long time, and it's unclear whether the e-car company Tesla would go as far as enter the aviation business itself. Musk noted in 2018 that cars and clean energy were both bigger priorities than aviation and it's easy to see why. Aviation only accounted for 2.4% of global carbon dioxide emissions in 2018, according to the Environmental and Energy Study Institute, but the World Resources Institute found that transportation accounted for 24% of carbon dioxide emissions in 2016, and around 72% of transport emissions come from roads. Getting fossil fuel cars off the road makes sense as Tesla's current focus, but with Musk displaying a slide at Tesla's battery day encompassing all forms of global energy use, the firm seems to have a much greater goal in mind. In addition, seeing the major problems and developments required by the project is another sign that Tesla is seriously considering the project. Elon says the capacity he has for Tesla aircraft is not just an economic problem, but a constraint of deficiency and resources. Although Tesla is going for a full-capacity aircraft, there are many studies and patents submitted by car manufacturing companies like Tesla and Hyundai for prototypes of cars that can carry three to four people in the air. Since there are car companies other than Tesla that invest in such technologies, it will bring the competition necessary for Tesla to produce its best results fast. So how feasible are e-planes? E-planes run on batteries and can be quite cheap and will also reduce manufacturing costs and not have as ridiculously high maintenance costs as conventional aircraft. According to Musk, he plans to make takeoff more efficient by limiting the runway distance. If the aircraft could generate upward thrust which could then be redirected as forwarding thrust for the movement the flight could practically take off like a drone. Since upward thrust can split with multiple propellers, it could be used to limit noise output from takeoff as well. It's also practically possible because the estimated takeoff power for an aircraft would only be 400 watt-hours per kilogram. Tesla is also working on improving its battery capacity. You only need 400 watt-hours per kilogram! Given that the plane has a higher percentage of your cells on the craft, then it needs to be anywhere near that high. It doesn't need to be a rocket. But if it's at 70% at 400 watts per kilogram, you can have a pretty decent range. Unlike conventional planes, the Tesla plane will be supersonic without any problems like we currently have. This means that the transportation will be much faster and can reduce the travel time by about 50%. When talking about Tesla planes, we can't ignore some of the challenges Tesla has to overcome. The biggest problem with any electric plane will be the battery. This is something that Elon Musk has talked about too many times as one of the biggest obstacles to the Tesla plane. While batteries are powerful, they can only store a limited supply of energy unlike fuel which you can transport and move in a very limited amount of time. This is not possible with electricity. Tesla is working on improving its battery capacity, and according to Musk, there could be possibilities of making more efficient batteries in just a few years. Several companies are working on ways to make batteries more efficient without increasing their size, and this should come as a relief to anyone waiting for a Tesla plane. But it's not just battery capacity that would be a problem for airlines, it's also safety. The fuel tank on an aircraft may have several safety features in place that ensure that it doesn't get damaged, and even if it does get damaged, there are steps to reduce the magnitude. However, since the electric plane is still in its early stages, there's neither enough research nor certification to provide a protective protocol in case something happens to the battery. 
It's also really expensive to routinely check for defects in the battery compared to just checking the fuel pipe in a conventional aircraft. Conventional aircraft also have options to dump fuel in case something goes wrong while taking off or landing to reduce explosive damage. But if the battery catches fire in electric planes, there's no way you can get it out of the plane safely. Can Tesla solve all these problems related to electric planes? It remains to be seen. It's unlikely Tesla could announce an electric plane. Tesla already has a lot of their plates and even if they announce an airplane model that runs on electricity, it'll only be in the distant future. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.